Belize is the final frontier for American franchise fast food restaurants having a grand total of zero. In 2006, there was a subway here and we're gonna explore why that shut down. We're gonna look at why there are no franchise fast food restaurants in Belize. And we're also gonna cross the Belize-Mexico border to go pick up not one, not two, but 100 Big Macs to bring them back over to Belize to enjoy and enjoy with our friends. The final thing I gotta tell you guys, we're doing this in the new Belize Vice Ford Raptor, which I'm gonna give you a tour of later on in the video. Let's go have some fun. But you might be asking yourself, well, wasn't there already a subway in Belize in 2006 that shut down? And if you're asking that, you're correct. So why did that subway close down? That's the question we first want to answer. Before we go get 100 Big Macs, bring them back to the island, explore Chetum, I'll do everything we do in this video, so let's go find out. I'm not an expert on, on subway. It's, it's my opinion that it probably has to do with the quality of food that they have that is not cohesive with Belize regulations. All the beef is grass fed, all the fruit is organic, and I don't believe that they would be allowed to operate without those regulations. Not up to standard. First of all, I didn't know there was a subway in Belize, but maybe the regulations, the standards, it didn't meet up to it. Standards. Thank you for uh, joining us here, Robert. Because stewed chicken's more popular than an Italian BMD. Probably the best answer so far, actually. <laughs> I think Subway closed down because there's no need for it. All the food's fresh, everything's ripe, everything's good to go here. Why is Subway? Juicy. So before I give you guys my reasoning why there are no American franchise fast food restaurants in Belize, I want to tell you about something we're doing for this video that is very special. We're picking one person that likes, comments, and subscribes on this video to come down to Belize. We're going to cover three days accommodations for you. You just have to make your own way down. So get in the comment section, hit that like button and subscribe. We'll pick the winner in 30 days. Now, as for my reasoning about the American franchise restaurants in Belize, for me, it's really where we are in the scheme of time. So it's not about the government not allowing it. Could be a little bit about import duties and customs and the regulations that those restaurants have. It might be that Belizeans don't really like fast food, which I don't think that's the case. For me, it's where we are in the scheme of time right now. It's actually an indicator of why you should be looking at Belize as an investment. Well, you can still find properties for around 45,000 in up and coming developing areas like Secret Beach. It's an indicator that now is the time because when those things come in, it's not going to be like it is today. So rant done, let's get to Mexico. So now we learned a little bit about why there are no franchise fast food restaurants in Belize. The next step is to go from Corozal to the border to do the crossing. So Corozal is the northernmost town in the country of Belize. It's famously known for being right on the Bay of Chetamal and also having tons of different sugarcane farms and a lot of different farming industries out here. So it's about 10 minutes to the border. We're going to show you the crossing, then we're going to be in Mexico. You boys like Mexico? All right, so when you get to the border, you first have to get out of your car at the land border here. You walk in on the Belize side oh, and you Belize. clear immigration over here. They're gonna stamp you out. If you're a citizen or a resident, it's free. If you're traveling through Belize, you're on a tourist visa, then there's a $40 Belize fee, so that'd be 20 US to stamp out. Now what you do is you get back in your car, which is a uh, a pretty good time to show you guys the Belize Vice truck. We got the, the Ford Raptor in Dallas, we shipped it in. So if people ask me, if you're getting a car into Belize, how do you do it? Well, we got the car in Dallas, then actually drove it down from there and got it wrapped. So now every time you see us moving around the country, it's gonna be the Belize Vice boats, the Belize Vice truck. We're taking all the Belize Vice stuff everywhere we go. And soon we're gonna have the merch coming out, so get ready. This is the baby right here. If you wanna take a look inside. Let's head over to Mexico. So one of the amazing features of the Belize, the Belize Mexico border crossing is the road quality, which it's world renowned. And the other amazing thing is the casino and free trade zone, which is in between Belize and Mexico. So the Belize border closes at 5 p.m. Make sure you get there before five. When you get to the Mexico side, you have to get out again. But for us to finance the McDonald's that we're gonna get, I'm gonna go put 500 bucks on black. 
I hope we win. Are we gonna get the McDonald's or are we not? It's on, it's on. Are we getting it? For sure. 500 on black. It is busy in here right now. The casino is packed wall to wall. We gotta find the roulette table and get this 500 down. Stage two of the journey now, we're at the Mexico side. So now you have to go in, clear Mexican immigration, then we're through to the McMuffins. So now we've completed the Mexico side. You have to get your form first. So go up to the booth, get your form there, fill it in, and then you go cross. So we're pretty much driving into the final phase here. They might have to uh, spray the car down. Uh, pretty much it's a free car wash, and then we're groovy, baby. Oh, yeah. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Muchísimas gracias. Oh, fuck the noise, boys. Hey, you did it. Hey, we <laughs> threw. You did it. So now we're in the border city of Chetamal, and you might be wondering, well, you're a Belize guy. What are you doing in Chetamal other than getting 100 Big Macs? Well, this is relevant because if you live in Belize, sometimes you might want to come find a department store, a hardware store, American franchises, car dealerships. Chetamal has all of that. It's a city of approximately 170,000 people. You're located adjacent to the Bay of Chetamal, which is why the city was initially established in 1898 as a port city. So you have an international airport over here. You have the mall, which we're gonna show you. You have the main strip, the Ab Heroes. So much to do. There's only one big problem for me. I mean, my Spanish is okay, but you might run into something like this if you don't speak Spanish. If you need a chip or a SIM when you're in Mexico, you can go to any of the gas stations. They'll have them. We're at the OXO right now. And Shane doesn't speak any Spanish, so he's gonna go try to buy a SIM. Let's see how that goes for him. I speak fluent Spanish, but definitely not helping him out with this one. Hola, SIM card, phone, SIM card, phone, uh, SIM phone, then SIM phone card, SIM phone card. What's that, sir? Numero. Numero? Ah, uh, si. No. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. There's a whole lineup here. He is uh, delaying everything in the store. English and Belize, critical factor, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 501. It doesn't get much more cringe than this. Oh man. 588. It's not as easy as it, as it seems. Yes. See. Gracias. No, no, no. photo of me and my friends. So I have to get the SIM card out of here. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what's happening here, but we're still on the mission to get the money into the SIM card here. Uh, uno, yeah, correcto. The first one was not correcto. Yeah, negative correcto. Uno, let's press eight. Let's press, not club. That's French. No, no. No, no? It says devolver, so. Guys, I need some help here, I think. I think it's last. So, so far, Shane has taken a 500 peso bill and exchanged it for two 200 peso bills and one 100 peso bill. Now I think he's gonna get the SIM card because of? I caved. I had to help him out, it was bad. Is that uh, mission accomplished, Shane? I think so, I gotta make sure my SIM card's safe though. So you gotta put this in a safe spot. What's your favorite thing about Belize now? Uh, English speaking country, definitely. <laughs> and the people. Bang, bang, baby, we got the SIM. And we got a custom wash, let's go. Unnecessary, but appreciated. The service out here in Mexico, unparalleled. So behind me is the Av Heroes. If you wanna do a little bit of shopping, go for a walk, hit a bakery, this has a lot of different locations that you're gonna to wanna to check out. And then you have the Plaza de las Americas, which is a big mall. It's got a movie theater, ton of different stores in here. So we wanna make sure the Big Macs are gonna be kept very well so they're fresh when we get back. 
our mission now is to find a case that can keep these things hot while we travel. This is like the Mexican Walmart to my right. Let's see what we can find. I don't know where I would find a delivery box, but if I could, that's what I need here. Big delivery box for all the burgers. So we found the section. Right here we have option one. I want you guys to get in the comment section. Tell me which one we should have gone with. We'll just keep burgers fresh while we're going. My gut tells me the plastic. That ain't it. Now we got the cold bag. Now this this could help. This could work. Igloo could be good. All right, we got the baby blue here. Same plastic, not gonna work. This is getting closer to what we want. And then we have the styrofoam cooler, which might be the sleeper of all of them. I think we're gonna have to go with the two Coke bags. I'm feeling confident with this pick. I think we're gonna lock that in. They literally have so much in the mall that we found the last remaining Radio Shack in the world. And I don't know if that's true, but uh, the mall comes fully equipped with everything you could possibly want, including its own pigeons. Everything you need. And of course, the most important thing in Cheddar Mall is right beside me here. It is the Golden Arches, baby, McDonald's. So now let's go in and see if they can accommodate an order of 100 burgers. I don't know what to expect, but I feel right at home here, guys. Hola. Hola. 100 Big Macs. Uh, 100? 100 Big Macs. Yeah. yeah. Mucho, mucho Big Macs. It's 80 Big Macs and and 20 McChickens, right? Yeah. Dos Big Mac, no cheese. <laughs> you can't do it. You're gonna make this. Chicken Big Mac. Okay. Um, regular. 80 regular Big Macs, and then 20 chicken McPoil. Vente McPoil, and how do you say 80, Eddie? 80. And 80 Big Macs. 80. See. It's <laughs> possible. Perfecto. All right, we're gonna get the Big Macs here. With fries? <laughs> okay, no drink. 50 fries. Oh no, wait, can we carry 50 fries? 20 fries. 20, 20. Yeah, 20 fries. Large, medium, small? Large, large. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. They are on point here. Come to the Cheddar Mall McDonald's. This has got to be the biggest transaction to ever happen at the McDonald's here. They're <laughs> getting a photo of the receipt. Has anyone ever had that much? No, I'm the record now? I think so. Record breaking, baby. 10,731 pesos is the total. So I want to get the conversion for you guys. It was about 10,000 pesos for all the burgers. So that in uh, US dollars is about 588.56. So $588 of Big Macs, which they're making right back there right now. This girl's loving it. <laughs> This is like a whole production line. We should be timing this actually. Let, hold on, let me check right now. 12.02, let's see how long this takes for the 100 burgers. This is outrageous to say the least. What an experience so far at McDonald's here. The staff is great. Everyone's pretty cooperative with our order. 80 Big Macs, 20 chicken burgers, and like 20 fries. They're awesome about it. And they're subscribing, so it's even better, right? I'm gonna be eating one of them. That's it. We got Eddie back here. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. What's happening, bro? There's a good chance I could get hired, I think. Still going at it. Burgers coming up, guys. Apparently we have 100 Big Macs in here. I didn't do a, a total count, but these guys are prepared. They had the boxes ready. Oh, wow, look <laughs> at that. It's heavy. Now we gotta get all these things back to Belize. We gotta get them into our Big Mac bags so they stay warm. Journey's almost done. Should I take my first bite here, guys? That's tall? Okay, we'll start moving some out here. Okay. Shano? All right, here we go. So we way underestimated the amount of Big Macs we would have here. It's now for our burger timer, 12.24. So 20 minute turnaround on 100 freaking burgers. And we way underestimated what 100 burgers would look like. This is obscene. How many do we have there, Shano? <laughs> okay, so now we're dealing with fries here. Fries and right, official review. Condiments, more Big Macs. Our guy. Here, brother. 
Thank you, man. It's a good guy right there. Gentleman and a scholar. We got to rip to the border, get across, and we have a big problem, which is the Tropic Air flight is 100% sold out. We're bringing the new boat over to Corozal, and we're going to boat across the Bay of Chetamal with the McDonald's to get back to San Pedro. Gracias, man. Thank you, guys. They got it. We got the burgers. Now it's the mad dash back to the border. Shane is sweating. I'm sweating. Eddie's got to be sweating, too. Let's get it. All right, we gotta lock and load right now and get over to the boat that is waiting for us in Corozal. But before we quickly rip over there, burgers are loaded in. This is the baby right here. This is the new Belize Vice Ford Raptor. So now any mainland expeditions you're gonna see on the YouTube channel, they're gonna be Belize Vice themed. So you can see we got this thing wrapped in Dallas. I wanna give a quick shout out to my friend and client, Ken, who helped us get this done and also request that Shane unlock it. That's amazing, Shane, gentleman and a scholar. So you come on in here, you're probably gonna see some garbage, but this is a 2019 Ford Raptor because Belize has Caribbean and jungle aspects, Central America. We need a mainland cruiser to get around some of the harsh conditions, and this baby's gonna be doing it. So more Belize content coming your guys' way. That's the new Raptor. We just came from Corozal and are from uh, Cheddar Mall and have a bunch of Big Macs. Yeah. Do you think a franchise restaurant like McDonald's would be good in Belize or not good in Belize? That's the debate. What do you think? Yes, I guess so. She said yeah, okay. That's one no and one yes now. I got some sandwiches for you guys here. There's three of you, right? We have so many of these right now. This is uh, madness. Hey, you guys hungry? You guys hungry? You want some Big Macs? Want some McDonald's? Yeah? There's one for you. Hey, buddy. One for you and your bro. There you go. Enjoy, guys. You guys like McDonald's? Have you had McDonald's before? Yeah. yeah? We just came from Mexico with that. Well, enjoy. I haven't had McDonald's in months, and it was the first time. All right, now we got a whole hype going on here. We were just gassing the truck up, and we are going to bring a bunch of these back to give to the construction workers in Mahogany Bay. But now we're getting the debate going. Do you think it's good? I see one to have franchise restaurants in Belize or no? Yes. Okay, that's a yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Would you prefer franchises in Belize or do you prefer it local? Do you prefer those mom local. and pop shops? <laughs> this has been such a busy video that we didn't even get into the fact that the boat was picking us out much, but it is here in Corozal now. You met James already, or you're gonna meet him in a second. Ashback. James, we got one question for you in this video. Yeah. Do you think franchise fast food restaurants are good for Belize, or we should not have them? I believe we should not have them because here in Belize, people like to try different food. So after a couple of times of eating like, like a Big Mac or pepperoni pizza or something, they want to try something new. So yeah. I don't think it will work. But you want, he's gonna enjoy that one Big Mac, right? Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it, buddy. He's <laughs> my guy. <laughs> yeah, well, one down, 99 to go. End of flashback. James is gonna take the truck now. And right here, our captain's waiting for us on top, boy. Let's get back to San Pedro now. The Don Dada was Gucci, bro. That's the end. Belize Vice is taken off. Now to the boat, and then we're gonna keep the poll going and find out if people want McDonald's here, or franchise restaurants, or if they don't. Let's lock and load on the boat. Just like that, hour and a half later, across the Bay of Chatham Mall, we're back in Mahogany Bay. I think this is the first time McDonald's has ever been to San Pedro. If you've seen it before, get in the comments and let me know. Back at the Remax office. Here we go. Hey, Han. 
Hello, honey, I'm home. Come on out of your dust. A big bag. Do you think franchise, American franchise fast food restaurants would be good for Belize, yes or no? Well, which fast food restaurant would be popular, kill it, but I uh, like to stay trim and healthy, so yeah, sure, yeah. A Big Mac. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> franchise fast food restaurants. Nah. Do you want franchise fast food restaurants in Belize? No, I want my best friends to drive across the border and bring it for me special delivery. There's your answer. Another no. Yes? It's nice. No, man, the food here is too good, too healthy. You keep stress off on the island, you keep that fat off too. But not today. Yes. Yes. For sure. Franchise fast food restaurants. Of course, they should. Okay, have. we got a yes there. Yes. Franchise in Belize, uh, I would say yes and no at the same time. But you know what? I love Big Mac, so I will become the Big Mac. <laughs> Huh? It's because it's no because I actually not tasting a burger from Mexico. No. 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 We're not coming to Belize to eat McDonald's. We're coming to Belize to eat what Belize have for us. I, maybe, maybe. I think so. Uh, think so? <laughs> there you go. What about you? Of course. Yes. yes. Of course. Yes. There you go. Again. I think that. There's another no. Yeah. Something I should mention, the best burger on the island is actually a Daniel's restaurant, Patty Flipper. Or burger stand, I guess it is. So, Patty Flipper is right north of the bridge. Go get a burger there, those are the best burgers. While I'm eating a McDonald's Big Mac. Hell yes, why? Because everybody likes fast food and beer, so McDonald's should come to Belize. Everybody likes fast food and Belize, yes. Of course, yes. Definitely should have McDonald's here. Of course, yes. Why? Because my grandkids like McDonald's. <laughs> One of my favorite videos we've ever made. The end result, a resounding yes for franchise, American franchise restaurants in Belize. For me, I would personally say my vote would be a no, just because I think that the Belizean food, the charm of the country, and also when you do leave and you get to enjoy it outside, it makes it a little more special and you're not doing it every day. So. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, like, and subscribe. And also, go over to Eddie Kaur's YouTube page. We're gonna put the link in the description. He filmed all this and edited all of this. Amazing guy, and that's what we got for you today.